Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Hit the like button and please subscribe. It helps my channel out a lot. Um, Putin is at the top of the green list for reducing gas production. So, he's with Biden. Hmm, or he took the idea from Biden. Vladimir Putin topped political Europe, Europe's green list for compelling Europe to switch to green energy after the Russia invaded Ukraine. Politico Europe produced a list of 28 politicians and scientists accelerating Europe's green energy revolution. Putin tops the list because he withholds fossil supplies like natural gas to weaken Europe's support for Ukraine, urging countries to switch to renewable energy and advancing the EU's climate agenda. Politico said, Now, why don't you just trade Putin's name for Biden's name? Why are these two so identical? Politico. He, Putin, attacked your, Europe's energy system just as cheap and reliable alternatives became plausible. Solar panels are stacking up in European warehouses because there aren't enough engineers to install them. Bloomberg reports. According to Business Insider, Europe is burning a lot of coal to avoid electricity shortages this winter. The U.S. Energy Information Administration says coal emits twice as much as natural gas. In reaction to EU sanctions, Russia has reduced gas deliveries via the Nord Stream 1 pipeline forcing electricity costs to surge across Europe. Europe is in an energy crisis and its residents are burning firewood to cope as Russian energy sources are sanctioned and disrupted. Hmm. According to the New York Times, firms are chopping down forests in Europe to make wood pellets to heat homes and businesses. In September, the EU opt to keep wood biomass as renewable energy to boost its energy security. Germans are boosting security at wood warehouses as electricity prices soar, Bloomberg reports. France's wood pellet costs have nearly doubled to $600 per ton, and that's $600 per ton. And Hungary has waived conservation, conservation restrictions and barred exports. Renewable energy made up 22.1% of the EU's total energy consumption in 2020. 60% of it came from biomass, such as wood pellets and firewood. Europe, which purchased 45% of its natural gas from Russia in 2021, is also importing American liquef liquefied natural gas to fight fuel shortages, reports Reuters. The 2020 EU Green Deal aspires to phase out fossil fuels, yet the energy crisis forced the EU to classify natural gas as green energy. According to the Associated Press, the head of the UN Metrological Office said Tuesday that the Ukraine war may be considered as a benefit for the environment since it encourages states to develop green energy solutions. Now don't you have to ask yourself a question? Why is he following in Biden's footsteps? Or is Biden following in his footsteps because him and his son are engaged with Russia? Hmm. Very interesting, don't you think? Very, very interesting. I guess. Well, that's the end of that little short article. Boy, I just... I must be going out of my head. 
thinking the things I'm thinking. And the way things have built up and built up and built up. How do you feel about the situation? Leave me a comment. Biden and his son are involved with Russia and other countries too, I would suppose. And now Russia's coming across the Green Deal? This is the first time I've heard of it. Let me know. Maybe, I, maybe I'm way too far behind here. And that's possible. I'm new here, remember? I haven't caught up on a lot of stuff, which some stuff I probably never will. But you let me know how you feel. Doesn't this seem odd to you? It sure does seem odd to me, doesn't it? Well, here's another popper. What I call poppers. Outrage over Chinese police station in New York City to monitor dissenters. D-I-S-S-E-N-T-E-R-S. -S -E now, I read a comment, uh from some newscast and I can't remember what one now I should have wrote it down uh, that they're spying they set up this police deal station in New York City to keep an eye on us on America well it's China why hasn't Biden said anything about this you can't tell me he did not know the presence of a police station in New York City run by the communist Chinese government has many critics crying foul. The outfit is believed to exist to surveil dissenters, surveil, I don't know, S-U-R-V-E-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E, surveil dissenters, D-I-S-S-E-N-T-E-R-S, -S -E dissenters, from the country living in the U.S., and report back to Beijing. <clears throat> Further, several Republican House members sent a letter to Biden administration demanding to know how this came to be. Biden and his son. I told you and told you and I know that you have said it over and over to yourself again. At the beginning of Biden's bid for president. The truth is coming out now. The rats are starting to show up, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Rats under the table. Boy, I don't like to repeat that. You know what? <clears throat> Well, I'm not going to say nothing. I have no words. You all know what I'm thinking. I know you do. The facilities positioned above a noodle shop on Manhattan's Lower East Side. And the New York Post reports it's operated by the nonprofit America Chang Lee Association, New York, NY, and Company. According to the Post, the IRS in May removed the outfit's tax exempt status over failure to provide tax filings for three consecutive years. Incorporated in 2013, the group filed paperwork for its nonprofit charitable mission as being a social gathering place for Fujinese people. Now they've got a video here. And I've tried to play these before, but it, it, it don't work and I don't know how to do the video with my video. I haven't gotten that far yet, and I need somebody to help me. Get, give me some hints, but I don't know how to put I would love to put this video right now in mine and have mine down here 
in the corner, you know, like a lot of you do that are more advanced with this video uh, processing than I am right now because, but I would love to, and I didn't play this video, but it shows him, Chinese leader right here, uh, and it says, China's surveillance state, why you should be warned. I know that's what that W is, but the warning spelled out. But I know what that W means. That was then. Three years later, the station paid $1.3 million for the suite of offices that now host the Fuzhou, F-U-Z, Fuzhou, H-O-U, Fuzhou, Police Overseas Chinese Affairs Bureau according to filings. Watchdog groups say it is just one of over a hundred similar stations around the globe operated by the People's Republic. On the surface, the facilities ex exit to help exist to help Chinese nationals renew ID documents, but their real purpose is much darker. No kidding. Critics charge they operate openly as police stations for the Chinese communists. They function to crack down on illegal and criminal activities involving overseas Chinese and regularly engage in intimidation, harassment, detention, or imprisonment. The Watchdog Safeguard Defenders, which follows global Chinese repression efforts, said the facilities also spy on dissenters, D-I-S-S-E-N-T-E-R, centers, Dissenters, but it's not C E N T E R S. It's S E N, like you're you're a center so sending something. I don't know. With the goal of suppressing their activities, covering up, mm -hmm, covering up. Mm -hmm. I got that part. House Republicans recently penned a letter to Attorney General Merrick Garland and Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, protesting the presence of a Chinese police station in, on U.S. soil. Republican Study Committee Chairman Jim Banks flatly stated that when the GOP regains control of the House, the Biden administration better be held accountable for their continu continued efforts to aid and abet the Chinese Communist Party. There it is, people. There it is. Right there in a nutshell. How much more proof to any of us, all of us, right here in our country need. Oh my God, and how long? What'd they say, two, two years, three years? I'd have to go all the way back to the article. Three years later, the station paid 1.3 million for the suite of offices that now host the Fuzz Who Police. Overseas Chinese Affairs Bureau, according to filings. Like I said, Biden and China, they're corrupting us. They want to break us, him and his son. And how can we stop it now? And as long as it's been going on, why is this just now coming forward? Biden's been president for two years. They said three years. So that's how he become president? More rats will come out of the woodwork. You mark my words. But how are we going to handle it? What can we do? be back. Everything I thought is coming true. Every single thing I've said, I've talked about. Oh my goodness. I'll be back. 
I got my button here to the cam. I'll be back. <laughs>